Hi kids, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to our math lesson with me today. Before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare your math notebook and pencil. Later you can pause the video and write in your notebook. Anyway, thank you for those who finished the homework and exercises. Today we are gonna jump to the next topic of our session. Let's start all our lesson by reading a story. Are you ready? Let's start. Once upon a time, there was a little boy called Hassan, who decided to go to the shop to spend his pocket money. When he got go to the sh shop, he looked around and thought to himself, what shall I buy? On one of the shelves, he saw a pencil and thought, this will be great. I will be able to practice writing my name. He took to the pencil to the counter and said, How much is this pencil, please? It is two rupiah, please, replied the shop assistant. Hassan looked in his wallet and counted out two rupiah coins. The assistant looked at Hassan and said, Did you know that instead of giving me two coins, you can give me just one two rupiah? It's worth the same. That's great because I, I have got one right here. Would you like to buy a writing book for five rupiah? Asked the shop assistant. Yes, please, replied Hassan. Then started counting out his coins again. The assistant looked at Hassan and said, Did you know that instead of giving me five coins, you can give me just one five rupiah? It's worth the same. That's great, because I, I've got one right here. Count again. Would you like to buy an eraser for 10 rupiah? Asked the shop assistant. Yes, please, replied Hassan. Then he started counting out his money again. The assistant looked at Hassan and said, Did you know that instead of giving me 10 coins, you can give me just one 10 rupiah. It's worth the same. That's great, because I've got one right here. Is there anything else I can help you with? Asked the lady. No, thank you. Bye. Goodbye then, replied the shop assistant. Hassan could barely wait to get home and practice his writing. Look at what he wrote. I am Hassan. So do you like the story, kids? I hope you enjoy it. So let's start our topic. Our topic is today calculating with money. Okay, guys, let's do some examples about money. So, I have a problem here. As you see on the screen, we have two items are here. So, what is our question? The, our question is, how much does it cost for both items? The second one, how much change would I get from $25. So it 
cost eight dollars so this clock it cost twelve dollars so how much does it cost for both items the both items you need to add it so eight dollars plus twelve dollars equal to what is answer eight plus twelve let's count it together twelve plus eight after twelve please count it until eight thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so our answer is twenty dollars so how much change would i get from twenty five dollars when you give twenty five dollars to the counter counter will give how much dollars so you need to do subtraction 25 minus 20 what is our answer so you need to count back from 25 until 20 so please count back 25 24 23 22 21 and 20 what is the answer equal to five dollars okay yeah great job so what is our next question our next question here what is the difference in price between the cat and the sheep so what is cat price what is the sheep price the cat price is twelve dollars the sheep cost is twenty five dollars so what is the difference when you see the difference what will you do you already learn uh, from first semester so when you see the difference you need to do subtraction so 25 dollars minus 12 dollars equal to what is answer please count it yes great job the answer is 13 dollars so 13 dollars between the cat and the sheep differences yes yes great job so let's see other question so right now we have three items which two items could i buy with ten dollars and the next one how much change would i get so let's see you need to buy two items but the cost will be maximum ten dollars so which two items could get ten dollars let's see if i buy this one and the clock the what is the uh our cost what is the price both of them the price will be nine dollars seven plus two nine dollars so if i buy the duck and the uh, staplers what is nine plus two eleven dollars but i don't have that much money i just only have ten dollars so i cannot buy these two items so how about clock and staplers when i buy clock and staplers nine plus seven 
What is our answer? 9 plus 7. Yes, great job. 16 dollars. So, I don't have again this much money. So, which items uh, could I buy? I buy only uh, the toy stock and the clock. So, 2 plus 7 equal to 9 dollars. I will buy dog toys and the clock. So these two items I can buy. So how much change would I get? When you give to the counter $10, so the counter will give how much dollars? Let's do subtraction. 10 minus 9 equal to $1. Did you understand, guys? Yes, great job. Let's do other example. So we have balloons and cake. The balloons cost eight dollars. The cake cost twenty-four dollars. How much more expensive is the cake? What do you think? What is our answer? So what is our solution? Our solution is we need to do subtraction again. So we can find the, how much more expensive is the cake. So let's do again subtraction. It's 24 minus 8 equal to 16 dollars so how much more expensive the cake 16 dollars more expensive than the balloons so you did it very well guys now i have three more questions for you so you what you need to do i have three more questions so you need to do please write in your notebook these three questions and please solve the questions and please write the answer in your notebook so the first question is this what is the difference in price between the table and the scissors yes the second question is which two items could i buy with 35 dollars how much change would i get the third question is is the last one how much does it cost for both items how much change would i get from 50 dollars so your test today you need to record three problems of your own and show clear workings and write down the answer clearly when you have done these read them out to your parents to solve and please take a picture and upload it in class dojo thank you so much for today see you next time guys bye bye kids